Hi friends, welcome to Let's Turn UPC. So in today's video, you would be seeing a small current affair topic, of course, related to our UPC exam. So before getting into the video, I would like to just give a gist about what would be happening in the next few days. So what we will do is, we will upload a current affairs video at least probably one per day or at least four per week, okay? So these current affairs video would not be uh, great in length, I mean would not be uh, like five minutes, ten minutes videos, so rather these would be videos which are less than five minutes uh, probably, okay? So that might be very useful for, for our revision purpose. But all the points related uh, and regarding to our exams uh, pertaining to the topic that is being discussed in the video would be covered for sure okay there there need not be any doubt regarding that okay so without wasting any more time we shall get into the video so today's topic is chicken gunya so we are gonna start this current of series with the topic chicken gunya most of us would be very much acquainted with this with the name of the disease uh, as such and maybe we also know the carrier of the disease but what we don't know is is this a viral disease or is this a bacterial disease or what is the causative agent for this disease okay so we will see that also uh, there are lot of other things that ought to be noted from the point of UPC exam so what we will do is we will get into each of that and know about it uh, even regarding the vaccines and the drugs that are used to treat chicken gunya we will cover all those topics in this small video okay so chicken gunya is a mosquito borne viral disease we have to know this it is a viral disease so this is where uh, there might be i mean upsc might keep a check like they would be giving some other uh, thing in the place of a viral so we have to be careful with that so also the thing one more thing to be noted is it is an rna virus okay it is an rna virus and also the signs and symptoms of the disease are we know signs and symptoms of uh, chicken gunya of course fever joint pain muscle pain headache nausea fatigue rash and what not okay so we know the uh, basic symptoms for all the diseases probably these are the symptoms that we will be writing for every disease while we were studying in our school so also the one more thing is this disease right the, this chicken gonia disease shares clinical signs with dengue and zika so if uh, there is an epidemic okay sorry sorry if there is an endemic like uh, maybe in a place say chennai if in chennai the dengue or zika is endemic so in that place if someone is uh, getting chicken gunya there is a great chance that they might be misinterpreted or misdiagnosed as they are having uh, zika or dengue okay so that is very much possible if in case that those diseases or endemic in that area at the time when the person is actually getting this chicken gunya okay so how this uh, disease gets transmitted of course as, as already said the mosquitoes are the things that uh, transmit these diseases so when an infected female mosquito uh, i mean uh, when an infected female mosquito bites a human being uh, the disease is transmitted okay so what are the mosquitoes that commonly transmit these uh, chicken gunya that is aedes aegypti as we know and it is alpobictus okay so these are the two species of mosquitoes which transmit these uh, mosquito borne disease along with dengue too okay so these two mosquitoes also transmit dengue okay so what is the treatment what are the or what are the treatment that are available for this chicken gunya okay we might all be thinking that there would be a specific antiviral drug for the treatment or there might be a specific vaccine for chicken gunya because we often hear in news every year that chicken gunya is being epidemic at this area in this part of india in this part of tamil nadu those things we often hear in news at least once every year okay so we might be thinking maybe as everyone is getting this disease and it is also there for past a lo lot of years so there might be some uh, drug which is used for the treatment or there might be some vaccine but the thing is there is no specific antiviral drug treatment for chicken gunya okay also there is no commercial chicken gunya vaccine these are the things that we have to note okay so these are the things we might miss and uh, get a question wrong in our upc exam so you might ask me so if there is no drug for the treatment and also if there is no vaccine for a disease what will they be actually using so what will they actually be doing if someone is uh, diagnosed with chicken gunya 
the thing is if someone is uh, diagnosed with chikungunya they most probably would be admitted at the hospital and what the doctor will do is they would just be uh, inhibiting the symptoms okay like uh, we knew the symptoms right fever joint pain muscle pain etc so what they would be doing is they would be relieving the symptoms that is the one thing they would be doing and only by this they are uh, treating the chikungunya for now okay so this is the topic for today's uh, current affair so probably we'll be meeting tomorrow with our next topic thank you for staying with us